Hey team, Will Cobb here, here to teach you how to develop 120 film at home. Let's do it. I have a full long form video that explains in detail everything that you need to know about developing any film at home. It's pretty easy, but that video dives in deep on all the little details. So head over and watch that video if this video is too fast paced or confusing for you. In this video, I'm gonna talk briefly about the kit that you need and walk you through developing 120 film at home. Let's build our kit out. You'll need a bucket to hold everything, two to three accordion bottles, a Patterson tank, a measuring beaker, a bottle of photo flow, clips to hang your film, a Sharpie to mark your chemicals, a thermometer, something to stir the chemicals, two funnels, gloves, dark bag, C41 chemicals, and a sous vide. Not shown in those clips is distilled water for mixing the chemicals, scissors to cut the film, and a coat hanger to hang your film to dry. First, we want to put distilled water into a bucket with tap water heated with the sous vide up to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, open up your chemicals and follow the instructions to the T to mix them and put them into your accordion bottles. Now, we must open and load our reel in the dark bag. It cannot be exposed to light until after developing. So take a moment to watch this next section to learn how to open your film and load it onto the reel. While we're unrolling it, we want to make sure that it curls into itself. Feeling along the edge, we're going to find where the film exposes itself from the backing paper. We're going to want to make a slight bend backwards to make the film not curl as much. Now we want to take our reel and twist it clockwise to extend it into its furthest out setting. Then in the dark, feel around for the tabs so that you can load on the tip of the film onto the reel. Then you want to turn the reel clockwise to ratchet the film onto the reel. Lastly, you want to pull off the piece of tape that connects the backing paper to that last little bit and ratchet on the last little bit of film. Then in the dark, you want to grab the center column with the flat side down and put that and put the flat side down into the Patterson tank and put that light tight cap back on and twist it until you feel and hear a click. So that's how you load the reel in the dark. These are the things that you need to not forget to put into the bag when you load it into the bag. You need your Patterson tank, the center column, the light tight top, your extended reel, and your roll of film. You can go ahead and take the tape off beforehand as a way to save time. Then you're gonna wanna zip it up and Velcro it up and stick your hands in the light tight side and try to load it into the dark. This can take some practice, but you can do it. Before we start developing, make sure you put on gloves. These are toxic chemicals. Step one, pour 500 milliliters of 102 degree tap water into the tank and let it sit for one minute. Dump it into the sink after the minute. Step two, pour developer in and agitate for 10 to 20 seconds with the agitator stick. Place the cap on the tank and do four inversion cycles with a slight twist every 30 seconds until you reach three and a half minutes. Pour back into the developing bottle. Step three, pour in the blicks and agitate for the first 10 to 20 seconds with the agitator stick. Do four inversion cycles with a slight twist every 30 seconds until you reach eight minutes with this kit. I always keep paper towels handy. Pour back into the blicks bottle. Step four, rinse in lukewarm tap water for at least three minutes. The light tight cap can come off while rinsing. Step five, pour on solution of photo flow diluted to one to 100 milliliters of distilled water for the final rinse. This will help keep your film from streaks and water stains. Hang your film where it can drip freely and you've finished developing your roll of film. Thank you so much for watching my 120 film developing guide. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a lot more details, you can head over to the video. I linked it down below. That is a full detailed video about all the little details, every little nook and cranny and every little tip I could think of of putting in the video. That's a long video, but I wanted this video to be short, sweet, to the point. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm also gonna be making a scanning video pretty soon, so stay tuned for that as well. So if you wanna see more content like this, like and subscribe, hit the little bell for new videos coming out, hopefully weekly. Definitely go like me on Instagram at OneWillCop. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey.